Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to talk with you about the Microsoft audit requests that we've seen a number of clients get via email. So a couple of things. First of all, we want to make sure that the, the email you got is in fact from a legitimate source. Microsoft does use third parties in order to conduct these audits. Secondly, the initial request is really an invitation. It is not mandatory. However, if you choose not to comply, you might find that you're a little higher up on the list for a mandatory audit from Microsoft. So this is really just a time to stop, take a look, and see how you, what you need to do in order to get compliant. So let's start with a couple of questions. Did you add additional users this year? Did you increase the number of people working remotely that are logging into a terminal server, perhaps? Did you buy additional workstations, laptops, or tablets? Did you upgrade any of those, perhaps, to Windows 7 or up to Windows 10? The upgrade path may not have been covered, and you might have needed to buy another operating system. So what licenses do you need to consider? Well, operating system, as I mentioned a moment ago, remote desktop, that's for that terminal server, um, perhaps exchange licenses for your additional users. You might have a SQL server, or you might have uh, a virtual machine. All of those require licenses as well. What about Office Standard? Um, did you know that if you have a terminal server, you need as many licenses on there as number of people who might log into it? So if you have 12 users working remotely, you need 12 licenses of Office Standard, and that's in addition to the license they have on their local workstation or laptop. These can really add up. So this is a good time to take stock, add up what you're using, find out what you've purchased, and get compliant. That way you'll avoid penalties and interests if you do end up in a mandatory audit. Thanks, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.